Question 84. The table above gives values of continuous function f at selected values of x based on the information in the table. Which of the following statements must be true? If you look at the four choices, uh, let's see A. Vitalis uh, has at most one zero. That's incorrect intermediate value uh, theorem guarantee for us to have at least one zero, but it could have more. It could have more. F has a relative maxima at x equals two. Has a relative maxima at x equals two. If we find the derivative uh, at two, it will be uh, greater than zero. The derivative at two would be greater than zero. So we could say that it doesn't have relative maxima. Option D, they tell us there exists value C where negative 5 is less than C is less than 2 such that F dash of C equals 2. Yes, if you find the derivative negative 9 minus 5 is negative 14 over negative 5 minus 2 is negative 7. Negative 14 over negative 7 is 2. That's true. But intermediate value uh, theorem is not applicable for this case. So C, the exists value C, where negative 5, where C between negative 5 and 2, that F of C equals 4, is the correct answer, as you see. Question 85. The function F is an entire derivative entire derivative of function g function g defined as g of x equal 3 minus the square root of x square plus x plus 4 cosine x which of the following is the x coordinate of the location of a local maxima or for the graph y equals x so here is uh, y equals f of x as we know that is going to happen when f dash equals g the derivative of f equals g changes positive to negative it changes from positive to negative the graph of y equals x, uh, g of x, uh, crosses the x-axis from positive to negative at x equals 3.14. Of course, if you have your calculator, you could try that. Clear out. We'll look at the graph here. We we'll graph the function 3 minus square root of x square x square plus x plus 4 cosine x and this is our function we graph it. This is our graph. We, we well, sometimes we use like a specific specific windows. If we click zoom and we come to zoom six, the standard, we'll see the function like that here. So this is the graph function. We see that the graph cross x axis. This is the graph of derivative. The graph cross x axis here. 
when x is 3. Point, about 3.14 you could track it there is trace and scroll scroll so let's see how much here x yeah it's about 3.18 the graph cross from positive to negative at 3.18 3.18, 3.14, close to. So the answer of that is G. Question 86. The graph of function y equals f of x on the interval from 0 to 5 shown above. Which of the following could be the graph of the derivative so we have the function here and which one could be the derivative of that if you look at the uh, all options we have a b c and d we could find look at the function behavior here look at the function first the function here has constant slope must be constant slope so all are constant here from 0 to 2 constant slope constant slope constant slope but we reject this why because this is negative okay so it could be a b or d now we look at the cusp here we have it at x equals 2, we see that the function has different slopes here and there, different slopes. And got disconnected here. If you uh, come up with the derivative here, you have different derivative. This is linear. And this is not linear. This is, has like different slopes in here, different slopes. So the function that must consider, which is a, I'll tell you why. If you, if you graph slope in here, slab, slope, 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 from uh, two till four, Slope, slope, slope. You're going to find part of it from 2 to 3 is positive. Uh, is negative. Negative here. Let me change the color. Is negative. This is negative slope. Negative. And then in here will be positive, positive, positive. This is positive in here over x-axis, so reject it. This has no slope in this area from uh, 2 to 3. This one is negative from 2 to 3. From 2 to 3 is negative. And then after 3, it comes positive over x-axis. The answer is A. Okay. 